can't wait to see how it's played out in this final game number three. I love it. This star match is here to serve. If you thought there were surprises with Hesa debuting, nah, -uh, we're not done yet. Here comes Jungle Alucard, Jungle Nathan, and the return of Atlas. Welcome to game number three. This is the finale. Blacklist International versus Next Play Evos. Oh, and it's even the support emblem focusing mark on that in Jungle Day. I'm sorry, like you're uh, excited. I'm excited. I'm geeking out yeah. over this. MPL ID, MPL ID debuted this. Yeah. yeah. It's our it's Blacklist's turn to show if the Filipino can do it as, mm. just as well as MPL Indonesia did. Oh man! And whoa, wow! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa! That was fast. What happened, James. Edward? What did oh. you do, James? <laughs> Edward, what did you do to James? <laughs> I feel like James decided to take a duel and just thought, "Hey, yeah, maybe I can handle him." Oh, oh no! <laughs> Regretted I not nearly immediately. Yeah, I like how he just threw that flame shot out there too. It was just kind of like a, you yeah. know, like going past him. And, and that wasn't even blind. I know, I, I know. He saw him, <laughs> and Edward. I'm oh, sorry, and, and James just sidestepped. <laughs> yeah. I feel like it was, it was also like a warning shot uh -huh. at the same time. Don't do. Will me again. I know. I feel like Edward is just like, yeah, buddy, that's right. Here's yeah. the flame shot. You Wouldn't know? be surprised if Edward also just chuckled like, hey. <laughs> like, hey. But here we go. Actually, he's gonna be a little bit overextended here, and he's gonna go ahead and take it out. Two v one. Why is coming in with the entropy? That's a lot of damage already. Oh, wow. So early. Ace two o falls. First blood drawn. Wow. By Blacklist International. The power of a jungle, Nathan. Quick burst Up early on. Dangerous, Yelly Hayes, take it out, Ahev, the ninja assassin, Hesa. He's not ready to face this kind of assault just yet. Blacklist means business. Uh-huh, and the fact, okay, putting Nathan in the jungle, he'll hurt really fast. Yeah, he'll, he'll like we were talking about the scaling and the time needed for that Nathan, but putting him there, and with the way things are going, that's going to happen way faster. Yeah, considering that he also has a focusing mark, 6% uh, 6 6 more damage on the target that he gets with, uh, that he decides to aim for. So, uh, now I'm more interested in how he's going to build this. If he's oh. going to go for the more... Ooh. Demonic Force in with a triple sweep, and White is going to finish him off. Haji gets the last blow in. I was going to say, wherever Wise goes, there's got to be at least one other member. True. Yes, and like right under the turret this early on as well, they're able to pick off a kill there. Mm -hmm. And oh. they're just, they have that confidence right now. Again, Blacklist International grabbing that turtle, has a couple kills on top of them. They're starting to get their items, and right now they're feeling good. Earlier, I did mention about NXPE potentially playing this more of like a counter engage type when it comes into the team fights, but uh, I think I'm going to take that back because now with how things are going for Wise's Nathan, they can't just go full on counter play defense mode. They're going to need to get that Nathan down as quickly as possible because he's becoming a really big problem. Now, NXPE also need to watch your positioning in team fights. And also how with how they roam around the map. Look at that. Haji and Oheb both have high end tries and executes. Yeah. So that increases their chances of going immediately getting a minus one. Yeah. I, I think, I mean, we saw that the last game too. That combination, but this time the two executes on top of that. I think that will allow things when they get to that point in the game, mid game, end game, and they get that minus one, as you mentioned, Renmar, I think that'll be able to, to turn the tides for them. But NXP has to answer something to that. And I think right now, who's that going to fall on? Is it going to be H2O uh, on this kind of wild card, Alucard pick here? Mm. Not feeling him just yet. Not just yet. It's It might take a while, actually. And how ironic is that? Taking longer than the Nathan? Yeah. yeah. And, yeah, I got to say, uh, they're, they're putting pressure. Uh, wherever these two are, wherever you see Haji and Oheb, or just even Haji, wherever you see Saber, then that's where next play Evos has to send at least one other dude. Like, they have to babysit where the mage is or where the support is for oh. next play Evos. Now, Yaoi looking oh. for one. It stops! Oh. He goes for the Faith of Lynx, and there's Haji again! Saber going to the back lines. Turtle secured here by Wise. James looking low. There's a demonic force, but oh. H2O punishes him into the back. That is one kill for H2. Demonic Force. Edward's still looking for more. It's a trade, one for one. The Winter oh. Truncheon. Oh my goodness. Yowie thought that he caught fish, but he caught an iceberg. <laughs> Literally, they caught it. I got you. Wait, Wait what? what? Just kidding. What's happening? Oh my goodness. 
go! Oh my goodness, early, what a play! Early win attraction! That was yes. his first item! I didn't even see, notice the pickup! To they the weren't even expecting that! To the moon! Let's watch that one more time! We'll narrate this. There was one time where right. he always thought he could oh get someone! Oh my goodness! But the Fatal Lynx caught nothing. Well, eventually it did. It eventually. did, but it bought time. And it, it wasn't, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it did not do what Yaoi wanted it to do. And boy, oh boy, did it come back in spades. <laughs> yeah. Think of Immortal Kombat. If Scorpion just got the the pull onto Sub-Zero, like, get over here! And the Sub-Zero literally just turned into a block of ice. Triple sweep down bottom. Again, it's the uh, double assassin combo. And yes, yeah. a fatality on Ooh. Hesa. Uh -oh. But look, Yelly Hayes. What's this young man up to? Oh, he knows that there's way too much down there. Um, up top, 1v1, Edward and James. Not much this is going to result yeah. to. Real quick, I just wanted to share this 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 little bit of trivia. Saber in his previous life was called Duan Ming. Really? Don, Don Ming? Duan Ming, yeah. Duan yeah. Ming. When like, he was a human, yeah. Like Juan, but with a D in, at yeah. the start? Oh, yeah. cool. What is the, me what is the meaning? Is there a meaning? Nothing. It's just a dude's name. He was just a samurai. It was just, I can't Ming. say samurai. It was a swordsman. Uh -huh. Yeah. And then he became a, a robot because of uh, Laboratory 1718. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a lore that is a That is That's cool. I didn't know lore that. Lore tips right The more you'll yeah. know. Yeah. I I'm glad to be of service. Back to the action, though. This is the third <laughs> turtle of the game. Last one for this. And... Nice anchor by Blacklist International. Oh. Yaoi looking for one more. Goes for the perfect match. Oh, James oh. is low here. Fatal Links! Nice Fatal Links, but Layton, why secure the turtle? Still, James Edward. taking down the oh. train. Why oh. shut down here? And there's Edward going bonk. Haji's low. Bonk. Can Yelly finish him? He can't. He can't get to the back lines. Oh. Yelly falls. Oh. Three down, four one. Why still got the turtle on the way out? The executes, the triple sweeps, the stuns, and the fact that NXPE just could not stop Edward at that time. There was a moment where the members of NXPE were just like crumpled up all together, yes. and Edward just went, as Leo mentioned, bonk. You might see another series of bonks coming up, but no, not yeah. just yet. And it's crazy because this time around, Saber, you know, Haji on the Sabres, it's a little bit different than the previous game when it was in the other hands of NXP. And yeah. this time around, the Sabre is leading the charge and leading the kills. And let's take a look at the itemization here, Renmar. Dominant size already. Crucial item pick up there for the Fovius, as well as the Rafaela. So the, the healing that we're used to seeing from the Alice and the Ruby is not going to be as high as before. Wise caught out here. No inner truncheon to speak of. V could only watch, the Queen can only watch the King get taken down by four members of NXPE. Four? Make that five! There were five there! <laughs> I mean, at this point, NXP has to do something here. At next play, Evos has to come up with a play. I mean, they know their backs are against the wall here. They have these interesting picks, but they do have this setup. They have the setup, they just have to find the right moment. Oh, a blasted. Yelly Hayes gets caught out with a triple sweep bonk. by Haji. There's the bonk. You said bonk. the bonk was coming, and here it is. Bonk. James getting chased out <laughs> by Edward. H2O with the back lines. Bonk. Edward, he is going to bonk down H2, and Yaoi barely gets away. Another flame shot misses, but just the same. Two down. <laughs> Can we get a bonk counter? You got you got the Filipino stream singing the Space Jam theme, too. Oh, oh. for reals? Yeah, they were just singing you it, too. You guys were singing it? You guys got that from Leo. <laughs> Everybody get up, it's time to slam down. <laughs> <laughs> and again, the trend of the caster sharing one collective brain cell continues as Hessa is going to try to get away from Blacklist International. Turn up top gets broken, and XPE Yaoi again. <laughs> again. A winner, Truncheon. They get wise, but he pops the entropy, and he is going to get Look away at Edward. With it. Unless H2O has something to say. Shutting down one more time, wise, and all have going in. Quad Shadow after Quad Shadow. The next play, Evos gets away with it this oh, time. I feel like it's one Man. of those games, Naisu, that I still I still don't know or I still can't call who's going to win for sure. Uh, yes, Blacklist it, International has close to a 6k gold lead, but I feel like NXPE also has the right tools to potentially turn things around. Yes, I think they do too. I mean, NXP, they have to know that... Uh, it relies on uh, Yahweh here, the sets, and I think he's he's getting close to that point where he's going to be able to do something, Ooh. but hold on again. H2O getting taken out here by that Saber oh. sweep, triple sweep, but hold on. The double ninja combo needs to protect themselves. This Ooh, is dangerous. Cool. 
Close. 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 Yelly Hayes. Yelly Hayes, it was what? An inch away from hitting that abyssal arrow. Yeah. yeah. Literally, I checked. Oh, wow. I didn't even see you like go up to the screen. That was fast. I have a guy. Ah, you have a guy. All right. <laughs> Give me the number of that guy, please. Oh! oh! Shadow kill from the back lines, <laughs> shutting down the assassin in Yelly Hayes. Double! And then another bonky bonks from Edward. <laughs> and Haji. the sweep Lord. from Haji. Again! Triple kill for all him. 3K for the favorite son, the youngest boy. Oheb, make that a three for an E, because the boy just scored a triple kill. Mom shoes V, probably going. Man, nice oh, one, son. <laughs> Oheb literally, like, he, he's being like, Haji, okay, it's my time to shine. Mm -hmm. Let me jump in here and does, get a triple. Does that make Oheb O3B? <laughs> O3B, yeah. <laughs> It's no longer OF. It's O3B. And look at Edward. 3 0 and 6. It, it warps the game oh. when Demonic Force is pulled. Yeah. The presence of this Fovius, the fact that NXPE, their ability to sustain uh, and lifesteal, have been dwarfed or nerfed by the presence of the two dominant sides that we have on the side of Blacklist. Malefic Rar was secured by Oheb earlier. So that explains the damage that's coming out of him. And also with Haji with the item pickups that he has. Also explains the damage that he has. Yeah. So NXPE, they really have to be careful, especially when they're retreating, because that seems like the perfect opportunity for, I think, what Haji and Oheb sees as perfect opportunities. Just go in, get a pick off. Yeah, and that, that's going to be a free lord for them as well. They're pretty much, they there you go. The real-time win rate, Blacklist with the 64% here, and they have all the objectives they need. I think for NXP, I mean, at this point, they're waiting for some damage to come online, and, you know, I did see Hessa just pick up that Holy Crystal, so that might help out in these team fight situations, but at this moment, NXP has to get that perfect set. And a lot of the times what we've seen is Winter Tranche being pulled out here to stop that from happening. So NXP Evos really has to get something going here. Before this fight breaks out, I must say, even if, even if, how, as funny as it looks, when Yaoi does Fatal Links into a Winter Tranche, <laughs> Some way, somehow, next play, Evo still gets a kill. Yeah. By the way, interesting thing to note, Wise, I think, got rid of his jungler boots. Yeah. Because he no longer has access to the retribution, so it's it's a sign for Blackness potentially to end it now. Mm -hmm. I guess they mean business. Yeah, look at this. A twin, again. A twin pincer offensive. They have top lane with Lord, bottom lane with the two assassins. They're pressuring all the lanes. Where does next play Evos go? Ooh, nice recall by uh, Yahweh! Yeah, wait. wait, there's a fatal the Lord! Oh. He's gone! Down, Edward! Oh no, this is a window. This is a huge window for next play Evos to recover. Yeah, we were just talking about it. They had to make something happen, and we, they just did it. And right now, all they can do is defend, but they know that they have... A, a, it's a little bit of an advantage. It might not be a lot, but at least it's something. Now NXPE, with a whole load of something, have an opportunity here to push out the minion waves. Yeah, finally, hopefully, break down the mid lane turret. I was just about to say. Yeah, because that's going to open up a lot of opportunities for them in, uh, in the in the map to roam around, move around, get more maneuverability. 7-1 to one is the tower score here with Blacklist breaking 7, NXPE only breaking 1 in the bottom lane. I mean... Listen, at this point, Blacklist International has a huge gold lead, right? They have yeah. the automation as well, and that's why they're so confident. I mean, they know that in a, in a straight matchup that they have what they need. Yeah, Here we, we go. Win. Fatal links. That is Oheb getting blasted down. Hessa, point blank. There's Edward. It's time. The oh. Holy Force has been pulled, but there's no backup. Where there's do no we backup. go? Where do we go? The damage into the back line. Oh. He lands down, James. Can he get another one? The answer is no. Yelly Hayes finally ends the menace. They are going to deny uh, H2O here, the purple. But just like that, still very messy. That was a two for one. <laughs> that was a two for one. <laughs> I mean, oh my Venus is just like, you know what, Edward, I can't get yeah. to you, man. You're in the you're too far deep into the base, you know? So you, you made your choice. You yeah. made your choice. I Oh my Venus started to go and then turned back immediately when he saw him. <laughs> Edward going to the base, but you know, NXP, this is exactly what they need. They need these small little wins 
to really snowball into something to happen here. Again, they still have to get that first turret down in mid lane. We have another Lord coming up in 40 seconds. And right now, NXP is getting a little bit of momentum back on their sides. But still, they have to worry about everything that Blacklist International has on their side. Oh. You know what happened there with Edward? You know the dunk Vince Carter did for the 2000 Slam Dunk Competition, the Honey Dip? Yeah. Edward went for the Honey Deep. Yeah, Honey Deep. A little too Honey Deep. Too deep. A little bit he, too Honey he Deep. He almost went to the fountain, man. That would have yeah. went too deep. <laughs> he wanted to go to Game 4, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so deep. So, so someone tell Edward there's only a best of three? <laughs> we can make it a best of five, but then we're going to have to talk about it like our contracts again. <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen, considering this, uh, now it makes sense. Um, I think we have seen, uh, as per the history of all Nathan games, yeah. it always ends up uh, in the situation where it becomes the trademark BFN. Loses his boot? I forgot yeah. what it stands Barefoot for. Barefoot Nathan. Barefoot Nathan. There you go. So that's why I heard it seeing, earlier, too. That's why you're seeing this icon here. Um, he, he does give up the boots, and then eventually he just goes all all complete items. That's did it. You, did you come up with that, too? No, it's... Well, kind of, yes. Man, you Barefoot, are the guy. Barefoot. You are the abbreviating guy. Barefoot Nathan, bro. It's... it's <laughs> So simple. <laughs> I'm gonna start using these beneficial trades, like one for two. All right. Again, you blink and you leave blacklist with objectives. This is what happens. Mm -hmm. Second lord of the game. Yeah. Okay. They just got the lord, and I mean, this could, this could very well be all they need to to close out this game. Yeah. And it, w it was a tough one for H2. Still sitting at two, three, and three. Uh, Hessa and Yelly Hayes might be the big. The big boys we gotta watch out for for the big turnaround plays. Oh yeah. It's good, considering how Hessa already has a divine glaive, but this is gonna be a tough, tough. There's, uh, there's the boots. Oh, it's dire hit. Yeah. It's okay. Dire so hit. it's it's not BFN. Yeah, it's not yeah. B BFN. Yeah. Okay. It's Barefoot DHN. Nathan. Dire hit Nathan. Nice. <laughs> yeah. This not, this Lord so is gonna be, yeah. <laughs> this Lord fight's gonna be really tough. They need to get wise, and yeah. then at the same time, the question of like, how do we deal with Edward? I mean, how do you stop this realistically for NXP Evos? And they're gonna try to do something. All they have left is that one turret as well. And it's gonna go down. Just a matter of time oh, here. Haji with the triple sweep. H2 getting blasted, and the Lord is going to melt here. James oh. taking a few hits here. Oh no, they're looking oh, yeah. for one more. H2 is low still. And just like that, they disengage. They have to wait for the next window. Yes, yeah. they actually were able to defend that. I'm actually surprised and a good job there by Next Play Evos. And they knew that, guys, we have to defend this. Otherwise, that's game. Mm -hmm. And they did it perfectly. And I mean, realistically, Blacklist International, again, it, they can do more than wait for the next Lord to come up. If they want to, they can again utilize the fact that they have two assassins and two executes. Heck, we might even see Y sell his boots. Yeah. Finally go for the barefoot uh, barefoot Nathan yeah. strategy. BFN wins games. Mm -hmm. BFN. I'm still thinking there will be a moment here where H2 on this Alucard can just pull off really crazy burst damage. Not while all the dominance ices are up. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's the problem. I mean, we question that pick, you know? Alucard, he he picks up a Malefic Roar. He It'll work if, I mean, if NXP like, in, were able to get a really good early game. Yeah. Maybe two, three kills early on for H2, and then they could ride the momentum because Alucard works re incredibly well. With a good early lead. Like, let's say if he got the first turtle, yeah. and then that he also got, like, two kills alongside with that. That's going to be a difficult Alucard to stop. Yeah. But then that didn't happen. Uh, and Blacklist International did not give NXPE that opportunity for Apes to just pop off like crazy early on. So now it, it goes back to Hessa being the saving grace here for NXPE if he could do it again. Yeah, I think it's going to come down to either some amazing play from from Hessa or a perfect Fatal Lynx or even James coming in here with maybe even a flicker and a, I'm offended to really set that up because they're kind of running out of options here and they have to do something. So much movement speed with added uh, armor penetration, three hunter strikes on the side of Blacklist International and the two assassins on the Nathan as well. No wonder why they've been difficult to catch. Yaoi still not barely there with his items, only has the Radiant Armor alongside the anti Karas and the Immortality. I think he's on the way to building another physical item. 
there just to help keep him up. I think he's going for the boost force breastplate at this yeah. point. Yeah. Get a little bit more stacking defense there. So, yeah, we are at that point where Blacklist will just have to wait for this next Lord and NXPE. Wait, why is Bot Boots again? He switched back. Oh, yeah, there. He switched back, yeah. He, like, he, he understood mentioned. the situation. Yeah. He's juggling. And I think, yeah, it's going to come down to the Lord. I mean, he's mm. going to he's gonna need it for, for this fight. Yes. Because this is, this is the defining fight for both teams. And they know... Uh, Next play, Evos knows they have to get out of their base to really contest this one. They can't just give it up, and uh, we're going to see if they're able to execute on top of this one. Okay, this is uh, hmm. conceal. This is this is dangerous. Yeah, this is dangerous. Look at how far Oheb is. Haji also just catching up. Edward making space. Venus is look. At, can you imagine? It's like a whole team <laughs> is afraid of an angel lady. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, like, yeah, she doesn't hurt, but. When H2 saw my Venus in the jungle, he could barely do any damage to this Raphael. Oh, Yaoi. Perfect match. Just just checking. Quick drive-by. Yeah, I like this whole time, too. You know, Oheb's not even there. Uh, he's going to go ahead and just try to push this one out, put some pressure here, force um, James to come here as well. Yeah, similar to what Hessa was doing in game number one with the Benedetta. Yep. That's going to be the role for Oheb here. How does it feel, Hessa? How does it feel? <laughs> The turntables. Mm -hmm. The Turn. tables have turned. Oh, the turns have tables. Yeah, the turning the tab of tables. <laughs> <laughs> this is why people get those tables with the spinning centerpiece in the middle. Lazy Susans, I think. The Lazy, Lazy Susans, Susans yeah. 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 That's how you share a meal. Lazy Susan. You know what? Now that we've hit TikTok timers, that is 20 minutes or more. All the more that this lineup on Blacklist is so dangerous. Because, mm -hmm. again, a single person out of position, like, equates to them being out for a minute or more. Yeah. yeah. And straight up bursting down. When you pull the trigger, I mean, if you're if your next play Evo's here, like, when do you decide this is the moment? I mean, this could be it right here as Yahweh just barrels into there with Perfect speed. Match. Oh! Catches one. That's Haji, and it has Whoa. broken out, ladies and gentlemen. I'm offended. Already used up, I believe, here. Oh, and Haji wow. is taken down. Hesa is just raining down the damage. There is Edward with a box. Only box. Everybody gets a box. That's a demonic force. Oh. He's going in a little too Boom. deep. And there's James. Bonk. There's Hesa. He's jumping on everybody. And it's not over just Ooh, yet. James. Edward. Edward needs to finish James. If he doesn't, there's H2O taken down by Wise. There's fights everywhere, and finally, James, James pops the immortality. Oh, him takes down. Now we down. Now we, and there's Hessa. Oh, he Hessa! Takes down so many. It's three for one so far. Hessa's still alive. Edward is inside the base. They're gonna force this. There's waves coming in from mid, top, and bottom. This might just be it. They can focus on the turret. This could be game three of the series going to Blacklist International. There's Shadow Kill forcing Hessa back into the base. Oh. No oh. amount of odds will stop Ooh. the onslaught, ladies and gentlemen.